Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 coming at you. Just wanted to say um, happy belated Mother's Day again. I think I did that on my last video, but um, just wanted to say thank you to all of my new subscribers and all of my YouTube friends and family. I really appreciate all the positive responses that I received um, from you from my last video. I was talking about how I'm considering tax laxing. And you have to excuse that noise. That's my daughter. She's uh, back doing her little whatever dance she's doing and all that stuff. I'll talk about her in a little bit. She's a little embarrassed now. So she's walking upstairs with the mouth covered so she won't laugh out loud. <laughs> but um, I just want to say again, I really appreciate all the positive responses. So I am going to do my best to be patient and not do anything to my hair, such as put a text lax or, you know, do anything to that degree. So um, I'm just working on some more options as far as how I can wear my hair. Um, yesterday I was in Walmart and I picked up um, a roller set. This is called the Mac Con Conair Magn Magnetic Rollers body and fullness set and as you can see it has um one two three four different sizes with the pink being the largest the blue is the medium the yellow is the small and then they have the extra small which is purple my favorite color so um what i'm planning to do is wash my hair um and I will probably try to use these. I don't know if I'm going to sleep in them or just um, wash my hair, roll it up, um, get up under the dryer to let it, um, you know, dry a little bit. And then um, keep them in for a while because my hair is, uh, even though it's thickening up since it's natural, it's still a little bit on the, what I call the fine side. So I have to be very, very careful with, you know. The, the curls being so tight. I haven't decided if I'm going to um, blow dry my hair or not. Um, while I was away in Savannah last week, one of the other young ladies that was there that I met, she is natural. And um, she said that she blow dries her hair all the time. And what she does, she blow dry it and then she pulls it back and she puts the, um, the uh, uh, puff on her hair. Um, and I don't know if, to me, I guess what I equate blow drying all the time as, you know, a lot of heat, even though she's, she, I think she says she does it like, um, every three days, I believe, and, um, I was beginning to calculate, that's a lot of heat, um, I mean, for, as far as for me, for, um, on my hair in a month period of time, so I don't know. If I will do that this time, um, I might try to do it um, with just blow drying my hair and then roller setting it and see how it turns out. Um, and then I'm trying to um, come up with some other options. I know uh, uh, Miss V. Charles, I believe she did a video and I have it in my favorites so I'm going to have to go back and, and take a look where she actually took, um, the, it was the hair that you can buy that you braid your hair with um, and but instead of braiding it she used it to form like a you know like a uh, I forgot what you want to call it in the back but um, I'm, I'm looking at that and maybe giving a ponytail as well and, and um, seeing if I could just you know like um, you know wet my hair and maybe I'll use some shea butter to gel it back a little bit. I'm trying to stay away from, even though I do have, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm burping all of a sudden, but I'm trying to stay away with, uh, from putting too many gels or anything in my hair. Um, so I'm just trying to really work with uh, natural products, especially since I'm doing the um, Real Queens regimen. And um, I'm in the Challenge A right now, but <laughs> I've almost successfully gone a, a month, almost, without washing my hair. But I'm getting to that point because it's starting to get warmer and everything that I think I'm going to have to revert back to the B in Challenge for the Real Queen where you would actually just add the greenhouse effect to your own um, regimen. 
um, because I, I, I'm at a point now that I think my hair is like, okay, you need to wash me, you know, with real shampoo. <laughs> so um, I will be using my sulfite free um, shampoo, which is the Moroccan oil um, moisture repair shampoo. And I really love it. So I wash my daughter's hair. I do her hair once a week. And actually last week, uh, she went two weeks um, without me washing her hair because I washed it the week before I went to um, Savannah. And then I didn't wash it um, last week because I got back on Mother's Day. And um, I normally shampoo her hair every Saturday. So I did it yesterday. And um, I know she was so happy to get it washed. <laughs> so um, I'm just, you know, at that point that I just feel like I need to... You know, for me, I, I enjoy co-washing, especially after I do the um, henna treatments, which I'm going to start back to doing this coming week. I didn't do one this week. Um, <clears throat> I'm out of school for the summer, yay, so I'm going to start um, doing the henna for my hair again once a week. But um, I'm really, really um, just, like I said, trying to come up with some different options because my hair has grown quite a bit uh, considering this is now my ninth month of uh, being natural and I'm really really proud of it it's actually this is my tenth month tenth month I'm sorry I thought it was ninth month but May is actually my tenth month actually the, the two on the 17th which will be Tuesday will be my tenth month so um I'm just trying to you know I'm, I'm at that that in between say it's sort of like if you remember when your hair was longer and you know you had perm or relaxed hair and you cut it and then it started growing out like you love the cut but then you decide okay well you let it grow out some and it grows out to a certain extent but you still can't do you know what you did when your hair was short but then you can't do what you did when your hair was long so it's in that in between say and that's sort of like where my hair is and then my edges are still a little thin so I'm really really um, self-conscious about you know pulling my hair back because I still have even though my hair is growing in here I still have those edges so you know I'm to a point that I want to wear my hair out more um, just to have that freedom but yet at the same token I gotta keep doing the things that I did to get the growth that I have now so that I can increase my growth and I know it's going to just take time and patience it's just you know um, it's going to be a hot summer it's already hot now and I'm one in the summertime I really really try to keep um, <laughs> my hair in some type of form that I can have it off my face off my neck um, and everything because it's just it's hot and it's uncomfortable and um, at the same token I'm at a point that I'm getting ready to I've been exercising now for a little bit over a month but um, I'm really beginning to have to say okay I gotta increase my exercise so with that I gotta look at okay how are you going to maintain your hair because um, even though it's natural I know that um, salt and sweat um, it's very very bad for your hair and me I sweat in my head I've always sweat in my head so um, that's why I do like the optional cold washing plus I have started rinsing my hair so I won't you know wash it too much but um, my thing is just really really coming up with some options that um, I can have the flexibility and the freedom so um, anyone has any suggestions I'm going to be looking on YouTube especially for um, you know people who just TWA and I did see Tyron916 um, she cut her hair and uh, she's at um, uh, she did a big chop and I mean she did a really big chop because Tyron's hair was really really long but it looks really really nice on her and um, the thing is is that um, you know, we just have to get used to our own hair texture. I think Tyron is like a 3C or something, so she has a different texture of hair. And um, it's like with my hair, I love my texture. It's just it's just so 
extremely tight and like um, even with my growth there are times that it, it appears like my hair hasn't grown because my curls are so tight and I really don't want to have to resort to you know using heat all the time or uh, doing things that may cause me to get heat damage because I've been um, you know looking at a lot of the ladies who use heat on their hair and I guess over a period of time it starts to you know weaken their curl patterns or do things because one young lady she was saying how um, I believe she she responded to uh, one of Tyron's um, last videos she was here in Atlanta at the um, world's um, largest natural hair show which I didn't get to make um, but hopefully next year I intend to attend. But she was saying how, you know, she had so much heat damage and she don't know what to do. And really, I guess what happened with Tyron, she got heat damage as well. So that's probably why she ended up, you know, cutting her hair. I think she was said that she was wearing it in a certain, like, mohawk-like style. But it was becoming very difficult to maintain. So she went on and just chopped it off. But it looks, it looks cute on her. So, um, I'm just, you know, learning that I'm going to have to really invest in, um, accessories such as jewelry and, you know, up my makeup and so forth. Um, but I love my natural curls. I just want to find more options, scenes, more styles that I can wear other than me, you know, putting a, a headband in and so forth because, um, the Lord bless, I have gotten an internship. Um, I'm supposed to start it in June, and I'll be working from June to March. So um, it's going to be a very professional environment, and um, I'm just trying to come up with some options now before I start working just to be able to experiment to see what styles I can come up with without having to wear a wig all the time. I, I love wigs, but I want to rock my natural curls too. So... Any suggestions you ladies and even gents may have, let me know. And by the way, if anybody is in the Atlanta area and you know of a male, very good male hair stylist, please um, pass that information on to me. You can send me a personal message. I would really, really appreciate it because um, um, I will get to a point that I will be going to their the hairdresser to get my hair washed and so forth maybe once or twice a month and I really prefer having a male hair stylist because I've had in my lifetime at least three of them and they have been very very good hair stylists and I don't care if they're you know white black or whatever if they know how to deal with natural hair and uh, African American hair then um, please pass that information on to me Thank you so very much, and I hope you're having a great day. Here in Atlanta, we're overcast, supposed to be getting rain. It will be so sort of nice because it's been really, really hot. <laughs> but uh, overall, you know, things are great. Just trying to, um, you know, get active and so forth for the summer. Look for a full-time job because I really, really want to work. Um, like I said, I'm out of school for the summer. Um, taking a little break and that time I'm going to be actively looking for employment so um, with that I'll just talk to you later have a blessed day and um, maybe when I wash after I wash my hair and I get ready to do the roller set or either when I do the roller set I will come back on and just talk to you about it okay thank you and you have a blessed day and again thank you for all my new subscribers and Thank you for all of my subscribers and friends and everybody that comes by. Thank you for your wonderful, uh, encouraging words and notes. And uh, just love you. Talk to you later. Peace. Love you.